hello friends this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial uh, there we had created this project right so let me repeat what are the things i had done in the, my previous video if you did not watch my previous video then i request you to go and watch my previous video this video is having a first part so first watch that video and come to watch this video okay so this is uh, our spring boot strap class from where uh, spring boot starts executing and we have a one of the dog class uh, which uh, before that i would like to talk about the, this service class which we have annotated as at the rate service and we have a just we have created a template we have a dog class which extends dog interface which extends crud repository text uh, entity class type and uh, primary key type as an argument right and we have a entity class uh, which we have created in our previous video tutorial right so if this entity class contains some private fields of constructor argument constructor and getters method so what i'll do i don't want to uh, pass this i don't want to initialize this id uh, from constructor because id is auto generated i have made right and let's create a uh, instead of uh, getters so let's create a setters and getters both because in some of the scenario I required a setter method as well. So select all and setters and getters. Okay. So this is our entity class which we have created in our previous video tutorial. Now let's proceed and uh, let's try to understand basically how to perform CRUD operation uh, by using this existing API which is available in the super interface is called uh, CRUD repository, right? And this API comes with uh, the handful method which is basically supports you to perform the CRUD operation create, read, update and delete operation with the underlying data store now I will start coding from here and then uh, uh, bootstrap class myth, uh, class so here this class is going to implement uh, interface is called command line runner so this interface is having a method so that method will have to override it over here and this method is a callback method that will be called at automatically and top of this class I'm going to auto wire my uh, service uh, class so our service class is called people management service which is annotated as at the rate uh, service so and uh, this uh, ins instance variable I'm going to annotate as at the rate auto wire so that a spring will automatically inject this reference now this reference we are going to use from here so let's start with the i would say first method i'm going to cre create portion portion all right uh, create portion method i'm going to uh, so this is the local method let's create a method and there i'm going to use this reference so here i would say again create portion and here basically you need to pass the person information so let's create a person object so here we have a person person one equals to new person and here we need to pass the person information so first name i'm going to pass soon uh, last name i'm going to pass murphy and email address shown dot m dot 2017 at the rate gmail dot com and creation date just i'm going to pass today today's date itself and this import i'll do from java dot uh, util okay so this is a person object which i want to save it to the database so just i'm going to save this guy and return type i want person so this API basically saves person information data, uh, database and that will uh, return the person information which is being saved into the database right and same will try to print which is going to save into the database now this method is not available in this people management service let's create this method now here here we are going to make use of the our doll layer reference so we have a people people management dog so that i'm going to use 
and this is a type of interface itself so proxy object for this interface will be created by the spring data jpa and this reference i'm going to use to call save method you can see save method basically saves the entity and return that saved entity so here i'm going to pass this and a person and this is going to return you the person so this so this is basically create operations just we are going to create a uh, entity in our database now what some of the things i'm going to copy from my existing project so these are the property you will have to add in your uh, this application dot property file so these are the very pretty straightforward properties which i have discussed in my previous video as well so this is the, your data uh, database url username database username and password these three properties mandatory rest of the below properties are optional one if you do not give then there is some default value which will be taken taken right so here is the driver class database driver class dialect right as per your database you need to specify the dialect so that uh, a spring data will generate a sql query on the fly for you and that query if you want to see on the console then this flag will have to make true that's right and if you want to see the generated SQL query in format fashion, then format underscore is equal true. And uh, DDL hyphen auto. So there are different value for this. Beginning in beginning, I'm going to keep as create so that DDL query we, we can also see, you know, see we can see on the console. So that's all about this property. Now let's run this property. Uh, let this, let's run this class from main method. So here, if you look into the here, we have a database schema is called a spring boot db and this schema i have created in my database so there is a table a person table already exists right and here i have given a create as uh, a ddl auto value so existing table will be dropped and recreated that's the significance of create so let's start executing this project for main method run as a spring boot and here you can see everything on the console right so here you can see uh, basically uh, there is some error is coming so what's the error okay so there is already uh, failed to execute null pointer exception there is some null pointer exception why so We have auto wired. Okay, so this reference we have to do auto wire. So that's the problem. Or the at the rate auto wire we have missed out. So now let's run it. Now you can see it's a spring boot. What has done a spring uh, data? First of all, investigate whether that table exists or not. If this table exists, then this is getting dropped because a, a, a DDL auto value we have given the create. Now table is getting created uh, as per a specified metadata in our entity class. So length for uh, first name and last name we had given 60s and uh, uh, nullable equal, equals to false we had given. So these constraints as well length got applied. Uh, now primary key is auto increment and primary key is by default not null so that is getting applied uh, now date by default is date time that checks the time stamp and we haven't specified in length for the email so that's why by default is 255 characters and finally person id is a primary key right because person id we have id we have already as at the rate id now uh, table is getting altered because unique constraint we had applied on the email so that's what now table uh, ddl is getting created now in one insertion happens and data is getting inserted into the database table and we just we are trying to print the person information so that is getting printed like this because we haven't overridden two string methods so what i will do i go to the person class and uh, let's override the two string methods so that person information will be printed in the nice format else two string method of object class will be called and you will not get person information in the nice format right readable format 
so again I have ran this project and you can see same things applied table is dropped created uh, again altered for email and one record has been inserted and you can see person is inserted with the following information right if you go to the database and if I refresh it then see this record has been created into the database so this is all about the how to create a uh, person information into database so uh, using this API you can create a single person object into the database now we have another API which will help you to create a collection of objects into database so that let's let's create on one more method create persons at this time and this method here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, so to save some time I'll copy some of the code from my previous uh, uh, one of my test project so here what I'll do uh, I'll just I'm gonna copy these things so just to save some time I'm doing like this so I have created a list with a two person object right and uh, I want to save this list at a, at a time I don't what, one thing you can do you can iterate this list and you can call the same method right for every object you can uh, do that but I want to save this list in one sort so how we can do that so we have a reference of service so let's call reference of service I would say uh, create persons right create persons and this is going to create a method with create persons and here we can again make use of this tall layer reference and we have another same method right which takes iterable of entity object and they are sorry one thing i forgot guys this list we have to pass it over here and uh, now we'll have to change method argument and here we directly we can save this list and this this is going to return you i travel of uh, let's say list and this is uh, going to return you i i travel of person so let's make return type i travel of person and uh, what you will have to do go to the service so this is our service class only now go to this person and here now this is going to return you i table of something and you can iterate this guy and now you can apply the for each loop and this person right this this list of employees getting saved into the database and same i'm going to try to print over, over here now what i'll do i don't want to lose my previous data which i have just saved so here ddl auto i'm going to update as update so that existing table as well as data will be uh, written and that will not drop now if i run this application then two more records will be uh, inserted into the database look at the console now now you can see uh, what happened two insertion query has been triggered and two uh, records has been inserted with id 2 and 3 uh, uh, the information which we have supplied if you go and refresh then two more records is inserted so this works like a something batch operation right you send the list of persons at a one sort right so that basically uh, decreases the number of calls to your database right if you have a list of uh, persons then you can save in the one single sort so in this video what we have seen we have seen how to perform the create operation right and there are two apis uh, in this uh, crud repository save which basically saves the single entity and another save which is an overloaded method which takes the collection of entity and you can save in the single sort iterable is the uh, top on the collection right that is the uh, topmost uh, interface in the collection hierarchy so here you can pass the list of entities set of entities etc right and next video we are going to see uh, some more methods right like uh, how to read entity based on the id uh, etc so let, there are pen penalty of method is available so that we will see in the next video tutorial so this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will uh, specify in the video description so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial